All right, now that you got the wheels off, you're gonna start with uh, gathering your tools that you'll be needing. So I have mine here. Um, you can use air tools, but those are optional. Um, I always use air tools. You might, wanna need, you might need some uh, PB Blast. Um, if you haven't removed anything in a long time, it gets pretty rusty. Um, definitely a half inch uh, breaker bar. A 12 millimeter um, wrench for the sway bar link. A crescent wrench for removing the, the nut here from the bearing. For the spindle, um, you can use some uh, some dikes and wire cutters for removing cotter pins, a little pry bar, and the sockets here that you'll be needing: a 12, a 14, a 17, and a 19 millimeter, and a rag for removing the grease from the uh, spindle. So let's get to it. Okay, and to start. I'm going to start with uh, removing the brake caliper and after that um, just to make some room I'll take off the sway bar link and I'll take the uh, uh, the hub off and what I usually like to do is I, I'll leave the uh, the key in the ignition switch um, and just leave it on the on position so I can turn the wheel it just makes it easier. And on the back side, I'll remove, there's a little retainer clip that I'll remove so I could drop the, remove the caliper out of the way. So this guy, and I just use a pry bar and a hammer. I got that off. I'm gonna remove the uh, spindle here just to make it easier to work around. Now you take your dikes to remove the uh, the cotter pin.
adjustable wrench to remove the nut. This one's pretty loose. I'll also be doing the brakes and new bearings. I haven't done that in a long time. So, hang on to a nut. You'll need it soon. So here's the first bearing. And the little maneuver that I usually do when I'm replacing the bearings on this. On this, on the older 80s model um, Toyotas, you can just put the, the nut back on it to remove the rear bearing and you just yank it oh, one time. and the bearing stays you can reuse the bearing and the seal instead of destroying the seal trying to remove it with a tool so that's a old school I guess trick for doing these but I'm not going to be using any of these old parts I bought some new bearings race and a seal so just get this out of the way and now with that removed I'm gonna be taking off the uh, the lower bolts down there so I'm gonna take off the soy bar soy bar link and the uh, and the bolts on the bump steers and this should be ready to go so you'll be needing a deep socket 12 millimeter to get to the uh, soy bar link Now, just the three bolts up top. They're, uh, I had already had camera plates from this homemade uh, coilover kit that I did years ago. So, just 12 millimeter um, bolt holding up there. Alright, and here is the my homemade coilovers. Um, again, I just made these out of some like eBay special springs like a decade ago. They held up, they serve their purpose, um, but it's time to freshen up these guys. Alright, now that I got the homemade uh, eBay special coilovers off, they held up pretty good and by the way I'm going to be reusing these uh, Tane camber plates just because they look fine I don't see the need in replacing something that still works plus the lower control arms are also adjustable for camber so it's kind of redundant anyways so I'll be reusing um, the camber plates and of course the uh, the strut tube um, and the dust shields 
I'm just gonna be getting rid of these shocks, struts, the inserts, and the springs. And the, to get started, uh, the tools I'll be using for removal is a 14 millimeter socket and a 19 millimeter socket to remove the the top hat um, and remove the uh, the dust plate. So let's get to it. Set these aside, I'll be reusing them. I'll be reusing my bump steers as well. Still work fine, still got free movement, so I'll be reusing these camera plates, just gonna clean them up and reuse them. Top hats, the top hat still seems to be okay. The bearings run free. But I got new ones, so I'll be re I'll be using the new ones as they came with the the uh, the well done kit, T3 well, well done kit. So again, these are just some cheap APC eBay special coil lowers. I got like a decade ago. Um, look a little crooked, and uh, they held up. I mean, I, I think I paid like 50 bucks for them. This was years ago, but they held up. So this part is gonna be tricky. I think I'm gonna take a wire wheel, and I'm gonna cut this off um, to remove this um, old uh, core lower sleeve. And then I'm up to clean this area up here to uh, to mount the new ones. So that's gonna be fun.
Again, these are so good. Oh, these are a little bit tight. Seems that the uh, seems that that the uh, top hat actually got stuck on um, this little bushing here. So I'm about to work on getting that out, and they just ate up this uh, this little uh, spacer hat here. So. I'm gonna do a, little, do a little bit of work there before I reuse these. The bangs on there still look okay. Interesting. Okay. So again, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of work here to get these uh, sleeves off so I can install the new ones. And I'm gonna be cleaning these and repainting them. I just have some old print I'm gonna use. Um, I don't know whatever color I have, we'll see. And make it look nice and pretty. So, so let's, go, let's get going on this.